Hello and welcome to this very exciting course on mobile data collection. My name is Wilfred Nwa. I am an infectious disease epidemiologist and microbiologist. I am also the founder of EpiGuider. In this video, I will give you an overview of this course. If you are watching this course from our YouTube channel, please remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell so as to get notifications on the availability of new videos. If you are watching from our website, please greet us under the review section. So what is Mobile Data Collection or MDC? Mobile Data Collection is the gathering or collection of any type of information using a mobile device, such as a smartphone or a tablet. The data collection process in itself is not anything new be it in the health field or in any other field you can think of. However, the introduction of mobile devices has revolutionized this actually tedious process by making it more accurate, efficient, and fun. Mobile data collection was first introduced in the 1980s to address the shortcomings of paper-based forms, such as increased errors and late detection of inaccuracies. There are quite a number of platforms that can be used for mobile data collection. According to Team Scope, the top eight not arranging them in any particular order are the Kobo Toolbox, the Open Data Kit, RedCap, Comcare, Survey CTO, Jotforms Mobile, MacP, and Team Scope. In my opinion, Regardless of the platform you choose to use, the fundamentals are basically the same. It is important to note that some platforms have more powerful functionalities when compared to others. Our focus in this course will be on the Kobo Toolbox. In a future course, we will look at some other mobile data collection tool. We will start off this course by looking at the setup of a mobile data collection system when compared to the traditional pen paper based system. We will then proceed to looking at how to design simple data collection forms using Kobo Toolbox Online Form Builder. We will take things a little higher by looking at how to design advanced forms using Kobo's XLS Forms Builder. After building our forms, we need to take them to our phones and tablets. So we will look at how to deploy the forms on Android devices. After data is collected in the field, it is uploaded to an online server. We will look at how to manage this uploaded data by viewing, editing, accepting, downloading it, and creating custom data visualization reports. I will end the course by showing you how to set up your own survey from A to Z making use of some of my experiences gained in the field over the years. There are many reasons why you should take this course. I will list out eight of them. The first reason is that it is free. You won't have to pay anything to access the full content of the course. Secondly, the course covers almost everything you need to know about building forms and managing data using the Kobo Toolbox. Thirdly, the course employs a practical approach of doing things. You will learn through watching videos and then practicing. In my company, you will be able to build your own forms. I will be sharing with you some useful resources which you can use to become a mobile data collection expert. You will be able to ask questions in the comments section of the lesson or send an email to info at epiguider.com, which I will respond either directly or through a short video depending on the question. At the end of each lesson is a short quiz to test your knowledge and understanding of the lesson. You will earn a certificate upon scoring at least 80% in each lesson quiz. If you choose to go for this, you will have to pay 20 US dollars. Note that 
this does not prevent you from having 100% access to the course content. Most humanitarian organizations use mobile data collection in the collection of their data. Acquiring this skill might just open up more doors for you. Thanks friends for watching and please remember to subscribe, comment, like and share this video.